73-62. As the students chant, just like football, Ole Miss is backing off. And you bet your friends, just like football, it's a Mississippi State victory over the Ole Miss Rebels, 73-62. And now history has been made in Humphrey Coliseum as MSU has reeled off 19 straight victories. We need to recover. We need to go take care of our bodies right now in the training room. And uh, we got to get ready for Thursday. It won't be easy. You're getting everybody's best shot. So we've got to go over there. you got to take care of business. Okay, uh, but again, I thought, hey, we all did little things that helped us win. Okay, hey, everybody, get your heads up. <clears throat> it's a good win. You're 19 and 0. Woo. You celebrate that, but now tomorrow, you bring it to practice. <laughs> it's just something about um, Alabama team. Ever since I've been here, just going against them is always, uh, I guess, a tough matchup every year. The post players will say they're on the sides, but they play really, really hard. They play tough and strong, so it's it's really been um, a really difficult hot matchup for us. It's just the way that kind of that series has always gone. Christy does a great job, her and her staff coaching them and, and preparing them. So. It's always uh, been a uh, really a tough matchup for us over there. It's always been a knockdown drag out. And then uh, here, we've never really, um, you know, just dominated the game. You're going to have a great crowd here tonight. Spent a lot of money, came over here to see you play. It's bad weather. Go represent us. Let's go. Let's go. It's the Bulldogs trying to go 20. And oh, the tip is going to be controlled by Chinway Akore. Morgan William and the Bulldogs. William to Richardson. Richardson jumps up in the air, dumps it into Chinway Akore off the window. Any good for the left side. Vivians is on the bench. Morgan William gets to the SEC logo and leaves it with Chinway Akore left block, and she just takes a move to the basket. Morgan William gets it in bounds. And Chinway Akore puts it off the window. Any good? She has six points. That is her third bucket from the left side in the paint. And now the ball's going to be tipped and stolen away by Williams. Puts two defenders, puts it off the rim, and it's good. You know, Coach had to talk in the locker room. We didn't, like, finish the first half as well as we should, so we said come out there and punch first and be more focused. So I feel like we came out there and we were more focused, and we really just started playing our game and made them turn the ball over, made shots, and played very good defensively. A couple of Alabama players will check in at the next stoppage of play. Richardson curls in the paint and puts it up with the left hand. Nice athletic move by Brianna Richardson. Oh, goodness. We, we pressed them a lot in the third quarter. Um, we denied the ball. And we ran some good stuff offensively that really allowed us to score. We, we turned the ball over way too much again against them. And uh, I think we even started out the quarter five out of seven turnovers. But then we settled down and started getting some, some shots and some looks. And, and that changed things. And the buzzer will sound on the Bulldogs. Will continue to make history. 20 and 0, 6 and 0 in the Southeastern Conference. 67-54, your final. Didn't feel like 13. It felt like three. Not exactly happy, just because I know how well we did not play. Great third quarter. I don't need to rehash everything that we talked about at halftime. You guys are smart. Y'all know what's good and what's bad. I like Morgan and accountability in the press room. We got to fix it. I got to fix it. I said that. I, it doesn't matter what we're doing wrong. It's my fault. Well, I just think, you know, winning masks your problems. And, uh, you know, we didn't play really, uh, we didn't finish out the game well uh, with Mississippi here at home after being up 23 with six and a half to go. And then, uh, you know, go over there and didn't just play great, didn't execute very well offensively. And uh, so, uh, yeah, I think there was some, some concerns, plus you're going against South Carolina and, and Coach Staley and her staff, and they do a great job preparing their team, and they're going to find your weaknesses. And so, uh, certainly was concerned, absolutely. Ain't nobody opening 20 and 0. You did it. Be proud of that. Be proud of what it's taken to get there, but also, we've got to be big enough, I am, and whatever our problems and our issues are, we've got to fix them. Be proud of yourselves. I'm proud of you. Enjoy the day. But listen, we're good enough to go to South Carolina and win. Yes.
they can shoot it from three. They, they've got good point guard play. Obviously, their post tandem is the best in the country. You got Atlanta Cokes and Asia Wilson. They are great bigs. They've just got great um, basketball IQ, and that's really, really hard to match up with. They still have an all-around team. They have the bigs and the guards. You know, we always talk about taking away the high, and then there's no low. I think you got to make them beat you some other way besides those two. Don't let them play volleyball, like Coach said. Don't let them just pass the ball around the lane, because if they get it down in the heart, they're going to score. The guards are fast, and they can shoot the ball good. So we knew that we had to limit the touches in that area of the game. Look at me. If you don't have an attitude of, I'm fixing to bust you, and you're not going to hit first, might be a long night. If you don't have an attitude of, I'm going to win my battle, whatever my battle is, I'm going to win my battle on offense, you can't guard me, and you can't score on me. Because I can tell you, as your coach, I've got that attitude. I certainly think this team's equipped for anything. I think they've been in the moment, they've been in those environments, and uh, I think they're they're good. You've been equipped. Morgan, you're equipped. You're ready to play. I know you're ready to play. Never intimidated, no. I wasn't intimidated at all. I just know we had to come out there and play our game. I've got a lot of confidence, especially in that, that junior and senior class and, and being able to function in a high energy, high intensity environment. They're, the two top defensive teams in the league are playing tonight. Who's the better one? You gotta be locked in. You gotta be talking, you gotta be communicating. But just remember, you are ready for this moment. You seniors, you have worked your tail off for this moment. You are ready, you are empowered, but you gotta go make it happen. Ain't nobody gonna give you nothing. You have to go earn it. Any questions? I need a mindset. I need you ready to go and I need a mindset. You hear me? That's the only way you win. You hear me? Yes, Let's go. This top five battle on the road is underway. This highly anticipated matchup. We typically have scripted four plays, and we, we ran three of them in the first series. Driving at free throw line floater. Back are not there for Vivians, and it's pulled down by Chinaway and Corey. Offensive boards are going to be key. We did do a good job of getting on the boards early against them. We got 19 offensive boards in the game. On top of the near side, dribbles with it with the right hand, goes to the top of the circle, feet on the line, puts it up, back on, too hard not there, and Dominic Dillingham's gonna get the offensive board. That was great. You know, when, when we came into the game, we had the mindset that we knew we weren't playing home, but we needed to play good. We needed to play great. Williams picked up by Gray. It's just gonna hand it off to Morgan Williams. Six to shoot, now five to shoot. William fires it up from three. It's gonna be short and on, into the hands of Chinaway. Corey has it blocked and she puts it back up. Hitting good, the Bulldogs score. Boy, that was what, four offensive boards for MSU, that trip down the floor. Yeah, it took five shots, but good news is that's how many chances you had. Two things, one that shows, that's an indication that you're maybe not shooting the ball real well, but two, you are making an effort to go get on the boards and get rebounds. and. Uh, so I was, we were certainly encouraged by that. Jimmy Corey deflects it away from Coates into the hands of Morgan William between the circles. Morgan William on the offensive end, works with it right wing, goes to Richardson, top of the circle, over to Vivians, left wing three, good, and State has a five nothing lead. Vivians up the floor on the right side, gets the screen, fires up a three, top of the circle, good, Victoria Vivians, oh, it's a two point bucket, her toes were on the line, she has five early points. And the Bulldogs lead at seven nothing with 7.50 to go first quarter. We defended, we got more offensive rebounds, we uh, guarded the bigs. Our guard. Morgan just ran the team, you know. We executed real good in our offense, and that just gave us that gave us those op open shots. As he calls out the play, he wants him to run. State's up seven to two in the first quarter. Dominic Dillingham, right baseline jumper. She was open, rattled out halfway down, but Chinway Corey pulls down the offensive board. Now over to Brianna Richardson, who scores from the right side. Nice assist from the left elbow by Morgan Williams. Boy, well, you're executing the heck out of your offense right now. Really running some good stuff, being aggressive and attacking. I love it. I yeah, boys, I guarantee you they're taking a butt chewing right now about offensive rebounds. Keep it up. Stay after them, Dom. Mississippi State leading 35 to 28. I was really proud of how we competed, fought, and, you know, where we were at halftime, uh, up seven. Um, again, 
earned that, um, made plays. Um, it's the same spot we were at Tennessee. We played good. We just had to go back out and punch first, like he always said. So halftime was we had our spirit lifted, so we just had to go out there and, and keep playing basketball. Top of the circle to Wilson. Wilson looking to go inside, but it doesn't have anything. Guarded by Richardson. Over to Gray, right wing. Show fire three coming out of the locker room. And wow, it ain't good. Davis zips it left corner inside to Wilson. She just lays it off the glass with her left hand. Harris, top of the circle, drives it left of the paint, kicks it out to Bianca Cuevas Moore, left wing to Wilson free throw line. Now over to Harris. She's wide open, left corner three. Good. And South Carolina's regained the lead. They have two threes here in the second half. Harris, top of the circle, drives it right of the key. It's going to be cut off by Vivians. Now another three on the way, and it's a foul, and it's good. Steve Cantley is going to call it, and the Bulldogs have just given up. All the momentum to South Carolina's 41-37 Gamecocks. They came out, they punched first. Um, I don't think we were focused. Just them, they came out, they was being a more aggressive team. It's it's not a 20-minute game. That can't happen. You know, we just, we can't come out and, and lose kids and let people run their stuff and, and score. We typically don't let you run what you want to run. <laughs> I wasn't scared. And I, when I looked at my teammates, their faces, there was no sign of fear. You know, it was just more like, okay, bring it up together and let's go. Like, we just got up from the locker room. This is not the way to start a second half. And so just that was, that was an edge too, you know, because no one was scared. When we got in the, in the huddle, no one said anything that, that triggered any sign of fear. It was just more like, okay, let's group this up together and let's go. It is between the circles. It's her eyes really big and motions for a team to come near. Set a screen, the Corey sets it, Vivian fires a three. He's gonna bank it off the window, it ain't good. And Vivian's face told the story. She couldn't believe it. Uh, really, I was like, how did I make that? <laughs> but you know. <laughs> Just that shot in general, I guess it, I think it boosts us back up. We'll give it to Rashonda Johnson. Johnson drives it left elbow of Dillingham. She'll fire three. Kayla Dillingham with her third three. And the Bulldogs have tied it up at 43 apiece. Top of the circle. Over to Rashonda Johnson at the free throw line. Now tries to split two defenders. Puts it up and it cut and she's fouled. Rashonda Johnson will have a chance at a three-point play opportunity. And the Bulldogs have regained the lead. It's 47-46. Just her coming in and giving those points, it, uh, it really means a lot. And I can't wait to see her on the court some more. The Bulldogs control by a point going into the fourth and the final period of play. Way to fight back. Way to fight back. Good job. That's what we work for every day in practice. 51-48, South Carolina on top. Rashonda Johnson, screen, fires it up, good! Top of the key, she ties it up. Boy, Rashonda Johnson has had two big, huge buckets here in the second half. Morgan William has it, William flying down the floor, splits two defenders off the window, and good! It bounced a couple of times off the iron, and the dogs tie it up as the crowd boos. We're small here, y'all got a rebound? Y'all got to get them off, you get every rebound. Get them off! to go. Well, and if you're Mississippi State, you don't have to have a three-pointer yeah. here, you just, but you do need a basket. Zion Campbell puts it up off the window, and it could! And Campbell is pulled to the logs for the one. I mean, what people don't think, they don't they expect a lot from Zion because she's a red shirt freshman, but what you don't see is her going and practice every day against Tierra and him. Well, yeah, I was really proud of Zion. I mean, uh, just, I thought she really played well in, a, in, an, in an opportunity where she hadn't had been in that moment. She knows what's to be done at what time, and that was what she did. A play was called for her, and she got it done. What more could you have asked for of her? It was just great. William, William, and a look to go in the corner, didn't have anything, bounce past Brianna Richardson up underneath the basket, puts it off the window, it is good, nice, calm bucket by Brianna Richardson, right up underneath the basket, it's a one point game again, 60 to 59, 120 to play here in the fourth quarter. I just knew I had to press the ball, and I, I got my fingers on it, and Morgan caught it, and I took off, and she threw it back to me, and I just, 
Off the iron out there, tipped out into the corner, and uh, it's going to be saved in, but Morgan Williams gets it. Here comes Vivian's flying down the floor. Vivian's is going to lay it off the window, and it's off the iron out there. I just knew that layup was going in, and uh, I don't know. Top of the circle over to Coach, free throw line. Coach drives it on Campbell, puts it up, and it's any good. With one on the shot clock in South Carolina, it's up 62 to 59 with 25.6 seconds to go. You know, we, we wanted to, to try to get a quick two and then try to guard them and maybe get a steal. But I seen how she was guarding me, so I was just playing with Bree. She set a ball screen. I uh, used it and used it again. And, like, Coach told me the first, like, before a couple plays before that, he was, like, jumping to her when you shoot three because she's flying at you. So when I shot it, I kind of like jumped into her. Hand it off to Vivians. Vivians will fire up the three, is fouled, and it won't go. But she has a chance to tie this game at the free throw line. And kind of came off a screen bad good and, and got a good look. My ball almost went in. What's so crazy about it, I was calm shooting the free throws. I got up there and I knocked the first one down. After I knocked the first one down, I was pretty relaxed. Then I knocked the second one down and the third one rimmed out. <laughs> Williams free throw away, rattles out, not there, it's tipped over the sideline and it will belong to South Carolina. Well, I think they're going to have a chance to review this to see if indeed that was out on South Carolina. We're going to have one shot. Okay. Yeah, it just felt like we could, you know, we could run something we'd already scored a couple times, uh, you know, out of, out of our out of bounds stuff and uh, really executed well and I had my best screener in the game in Blair. They lob it to Brianna Richardson left wing. She'll hand it off to Morgan William. The work between the circles. We'll hand it off to Victoria Vivians. Vivians bounces it over to Blair Schaefer. She'll fire three and it's off the iron not there and it's going to be a jump ball in the Bulldogs for own possession. Morgan William, right in the bucket, looking, looking, still looking, still looking. Goes to Victoria Vivians, puts it up short out there, and Asia Wilson's going to pull down the rebound. With 2.5 seconds left, and the Bulldogs are going to foul it. I'm heartbroken for my kids. I just I felt like they did enough to to put themselves in a position to win the game. And certainly we had our opportunities. You can talk about missed free throws, missed layup. Um, you know, you, in, in a game like that, of that magnitude, everybody in that room that stepped on the floor can think about one possession that, whether it's one stop, one block out, one free throw, one layup, one good screen, it comes down to one possession. When you come ready to play, you can compete with anybody in the country, anybody. You're good enough. You can win a national championship. Yeah, I think Mississippi State is um, a team that uh, very well could reach the Final Four. Um, they have all the key ingredients uh, to being, um, you know, a national champion. Well, I think across the country, people saw what Mississippi State women's basketball is all about. I think they saw a, a team that's fiery, competitive. Um, I think they saw a skilled basketball team. Um, one possession. In my head, it's just one possession. You know, if I had done this right, if I hadn't given up this rebound, if I hadn't turned the ball over, just that one possession, you know, and when I got in the locker room and I sat down, I said to myself, you know, we, we still have a chance. We still have a chance.